Hello folks, uh, we are back with another gardening hacks and today I have uh, harvested a lot of aloe veras. These are big giant ones with a long uh, root here. So what I've done was I was planning to make aloe vera gel out of it but I have been doing uh, it a lot and I have already stocked up a much for that so let's try making something else. So I thought let's why not we do aloe vera water that is the hydrosol out of uh, aloe vera. So what I did is I cut these leaves and uh, I let the baby leaves in the with the rootstock so that I could report this or share this with my friends and other community members so that they could just grow regrow these aloe vera in their home. And uh, here I have these are all uh, the leaves that I collected. So what I have done here is I have cut the the leaves from the rootstock and uh, the important thing is that we need to cut this and let it set in water or just uh, air dry it so that the poison from the aloe vera comes out so the, the yellow sap comes out actually and uh, that's the poison and here the yellow sap is like mixed with water here so just let it be set there it's been like half day now so uh, the yellow sap has all come out and uh, need not worry the leaves are infected but it's all fine because we are not going to use the gel as of now we're just going to steam it uh, using the distillation process and take away uh, take off the essence and make an absolute we call it aloe vera water or hydrosol out of it so what the next step to do is we'll collect them and we need to cut them as these slices that I've done here the important thing is that we need to slice them up as in like this so that when the steam pop when the steam uh, comes into contact with these gel uh, the oil material has to steam up quick and pass through the distillation chamber so this is very helpful so what we do next is we wash them and uh, we collect them separately so all the cuttings are uh, have been done now so it's all pre-washed so we don't need to wash them again so what I'll do is we'll take a, a big cooker it's a 5 liter cooker also and the important step is to have a sort of uh, a gap between the bottom and the layer of aloes that we'll be having on so that it doesn't get uh, the water dry, the water would dry up, and uh, there might be the blacky thing that would be there. So I do, we don't want to fry the aloes. And then what we do is, I'm catching the camera in one hand, so we'll just add on the aloes there. So little by little, and we'll spread it all even. So the whole uh, cooker is filled up now uh, and we need to leave a few inches of gap on the top so that the steam have uh, gets, gets some gap to evolve and then we need to keep on pressing like this so that there might be some air pockets inside and we need to settle up these leaves closely tightly packed inside so that only the steam would pass through these things all right and now I have done it and here we have uh, water so what I'll do is uh, we'll be using clean fresh water and not um, the RO or the canned water that we usually get because it contains minerals and we don't want any minerals to be added here and uh, what we do is we pour a good amount of water nearly say about 50 percentage of uh, this container and we'll leave it overnight this could be done like we could leave it for soaking for about say two to three hours this is only to make the green flesh more soggy in water so that the steam could easily pass through and the extract could be generated quickly so what I'm, going to, what I'm doing here is I'll just add water till uh, till it comes up to the top here 
as I said before, we'll be leaving a few inches of gap on the top layer so that the steel will pass through. And that's how we do this process. And in the comment section, if we have professionals here who could redirect me to the correct procedure or if I'm wrong with the amount of water that I'm adding, please do let me know your help. So here you see the water is up to the level and I think it's okay now. And once again, I would just press the top brim and you can see the water popping up. So that's the level that we need. All right. So once it all gets dipped into the water, let this all soak for tonight. And tomorrow morning, early in the morning, I will do this so that um, so that the people who are going to have breakfast, there would be no issues. This is going to take a really long process and the procedure takes up say about two to three hours or maybe more depending upon the quantity that we need to get and uh, yeah see you tomorrow so the next morning what we do is we keep the flame high of the pressure cooker and uh, we did we haven't disturbed anything that we said before as it was so what we did was uh, we took off the whistle and over that whistle we, I have uh, placed a copper tube it's of 70 mm and uh, yeah so there is no chance of getting blast so the air with pressure gets into the tube here and it passes through the con condenser chamber so right now what we have done is we have sealed it this is the normal atta the wheat flour I have mixed with some water and we seal this so that there is no gas escape right so this is how we seal it we I haven't disturbed the other any other part just the uh, just the seal and I waited for uh, for about uh, 30 minutes uh, to get the boiling point and then the water forms into steam and then gets into this sort of chamber so here what we have done is we need to keep on um, adding cold water this is not this is getting heat up because um, the gas gets into this tube and uh, using uh, this water the steam gets cooled out so we keep on adding ice to this or change of water this is supposed to be like the water must be in a rotation form so that there won't be any heating and uh, the heat is just generated on the top layer of water the underneath is the cold cold water this is because when the, the steam gets into contact with the tube along with the, the first layer there are like about I think five rings here five rings of surfaces it goes and then the first ring is the only place where you, you see the bubbles there that's where the hot steam is getting uh, pressurized to know to get condensed to liquid so that's how it is and uh, there is there is also a bit of gap uh, so the the, re, the tubes doesn't get stuck through the plastic tubes and then through the underneath part here we get it and we collect it in a, as a vessel. So this being a homemade and a kitchen friendly stuff so we are not uh, using the lab materials and you see the water has this sort of a oily glossy texture that is the essential oil that is collected from aloe vera. And the other liquid that we see has a higher density. It has flavor of aloes as well. And in fact, to be honest, in the history, people used to do this steam distillation process. And this is the water that is unsepated, is used as a hydrosol and into the ingredients in pharmaceutical industry, medication, aromatherapy, and stuff like that. It could be consumed directly, or you can add this to your food flavoring. And serious and uh, yeah this is further can be um, physically separated as uh, essential oil and hydrosol so here the essential oil is really very less quantity so the glossy part that you see the oily is the top layer is the essential oil so back in those days what they did was they thought this the top layer is the a sort of impurities and they would just take it off and uh, 
the rest of the water would be used but in fact in recent days we have come up with the essential oil concept and uh, the market has been booming with it but to be honest the hydrosol itself has the 100% nutrients so it doesn't matter if it's essential oil or hydrosol maybe the um, genius industrial geniuses would talk about it and i would like to hear about it in the comment section below if this process wasn't that good please let me know if this was helpful please uh, let me know this is how i collect my hydrosol and uh, that's how the whole process looks like i'm really sorry for my kitchen view it's not that good but yeah that's my apparatus system so that's how it is all right thank you for watching and do like share if this was helpful and hit the like button that would be a good booster for my next videos thank you all bye